question that I will often ask myself when I'm presenting is how can I connect with people in the room? And this kind of builds on some of the ideas that we've perhaps talked about in the other areas, but I think it's worth having as a standalone question just to make sure that we always think about it. Now, what you're looking for here is to create a sense of we. You want people in the room to understand that we're all in this together. I'm like you, we're facing different challenges, let's figure out some answers here. This, I find, works really, really well. When you're kind of being the sage on the stage, I think it really does often detract from the message. And being human about it, helping people recognise that you perhaps do a similar role to them, that you face similar challenges, that the things that feel impossible to them felt impossible to you too, but now perhaps you found some ways forwards on that, that can really, really help. You also want to bring that sense of self to the stage as well, help people connect with you and buy into you as a person. Maybe make them laugh or tell them a bit of a story about yourself. So I talked in an earlier module about how it's not really great to start off a presentation by reeling off your CV um, and that we need to think about how to start powerfully. But actually bringing a bit of yourself here can be really helpful. And maybe you've got a short story that you can tell that rather than reeling off your qualifications, you can tell a story about you and your experience about why you're exactly the person who should be delivering this topic. Bring a bit of yourself. Perhaps you can kick off with a story which is, is humorous and human and will connect with people. Using humor and being human will always help you connect. Talk about the things that went wrong as well as the things that went well. That will also help people not have to tread the same path if they can learn from your mistakes, as well as making them like you and connect with you. I also find a great way to really connect with your audience is to ask questions. Sometimes you'll just put a question out there and people can kind of think about it or dwell on it. You might give them a moment for personal reflection. You might give them a minute or two to talk to the people next to them, but ask questions, invite their point of view. You really want to connect with and engage with them on the topic that you're talking about. It's really important to recognize that you're presenting, but you're not the only expert in the room here. Everybody's got something to share. If you're able to build those bridges, build that connection with the people in the room, they'll get so much more from this and they're more likely to act on what they've learned as well because they will have made this learning relevant to their own context. Also, people love to talk. They love the opportunity to discuss what's in their mind. And what you're saying, if it's good, will provoke thought for them and they will want to share that with the people around them quite often. You can also think about connecting by kind of responding to the feeling in the room. So sometimes that's that's as simple as recognising that there's a bit of a slump here and people are perhaps a bit tired and withdrawn and trying to build up a bit of energy. Or sometimes it's about recognising that there's too much energy and people need a moment. A really helpful, simple tip here is to use the word we whenever possible. So I present to a whole range of different people all the time, um, but I always try and put myself in the shoes of a typical person in the room and I try and think about things from their point of view and instead of saying you must do this, you should try this, you could, I think about we. It, it kind of can seem a little bit strange when you start doing it but you find quite quickly that you build empathy with your audience and that when you're thinking about things from the point of view of we, we we just tend to tell that story a little bit differently. So try to use the word we where you can. Try to think about in what ways you can relate to the audience in the room. Maybe you're talking to people who have a bit of a different background from you and you don't feel like we. Then stop and think, well, what are the things that we have in common? Where is the we here? In what way are we similar? Because again, building that connection, it helps to build that empathy, that understanding, and helps you to present in a way that's most relevant to the audience. If you found this video helpful, you might be interested to learn more about UCAN. UCAN is our new, ever-growing, on-demand video CPD service for schools. Each course is made up of a series of modules just like the one you've just watched. Each module is designed to be highly practical with ideas that you can use right away. We're growing our library of courses every week to meet the demands of our subscribers. There's a huge wealth of training that you and your colleagues will be able to access if your school subscribes. Our short practical videos make it easy and enjoyable to learn. So you can do anything you set your mind to.